Hello everybody, Lord Vaporous, this time looking at the iTaste MVP. Look at this beast. It's huge. So very square, looks a little bit like a battery pack, and that's because it is actually a battery pack as well. If we look on the bottom here, we can actually charge our devices, our phones, whatever else we have with us that needs a USB charger. This is our screen here on the side. Let's have a look what else we get on the box here inside. As usual, our instructions, actually quite good with this one. It is a very, very good quality little vaporizer, this that I can see. It's a bit cumbersome, but then it does have that charging feature. There's our instructions. A couple of stickers, of course, which they always like to give you. And inside our box, lots of goodies in here. We have two spare tanks here. We also have, again, a little kind of hood that goes over the top if you're using a different design of tank, just to cover that uh, groove on the top there. We also have our charging cable. And it can charge all kinds. We've got USB, micro USB, and also Apple 30 pin. So the 30 pin was for the uh, iPhone 4S and backwards, I believe, and the older iPods, of course. We slot that in the bottom and charge our devices. Amazing idea. And there we say we've got two tanks. They are plastic. Later on, we'll try the Kanga tank on this, see how it fits and see how it behaves. This you've got two tanks, you can have two different flavoured e-liquids in here. Maybe one with lower nicotine, one with higher, depending on what you need. Simply screws onto the top, and we're ready to go. Now, just to prove it's a standard fit, uh, I do have some fittings from the Zima Pro here, uh, and that will also screw onto this battery pack. So, standard fit here. Also the same fit as the uh, Atmos Raw, which I will grab in a moment and show you. It just screws home. That means we can also do uh, wheels with all the other fittings. There we go, from the Zima Pro. Very, very handy. Except the battery lasts a hell of a lot longer than the Zima Pro, I'll tell you that. And here we have the Atmos Raw, just to show you. Yes, That would also fit on there. So standard fit. Now here we have our charger. And this is how we charge the device. Let's simply plug this in the bottom, like so, in the micro USB. And then I've just simply used the other end into my uh, iPad charger here. Any standard USB charger will do the job, I believe. And she goes. Now we're going to use some Buck Naked. Now this does have nicotine, uh, very low milligram, but I believe it's 18 milligrams of nicotine in here. And this is a cappuccino flavor, I believe. And now I'm going to show you how we would uh, fill our tanks. Let's have a little look inside this box. This seems very high quality compared to most e-liquids I've seen. Again, it's glass. Glass bottle, so you know it's good. There's a very long nozzle to fill this. This is where we need to fill our chamber here. We have a measurement on the side for how much we have left. A little rubber mouthpiece to keep all the dirt out when we're not using it. And this is how we get in. We, this is the top section here. We need to screw that off. And inside you can see your little nozzle there. We don't want to go in there with that because that's going to block. We need to go to the side of it. As you can see, they are quite fussy, these I find. As you can see, we just squeeze it down the side towards the wicks at the bottom of the tank. As I said, it is a plastic tank, and later on we'll try the Kanga, which is uh, one of the better tanks I've seen. I think maybe we should speed this footage up a bit, shall we? It seems to be taking a long time. And as you can see, it is a little bit fussy, this. I always find... I worry a bit about getting it stuck in the uh, in the top of the mouthpiece so that when you inhale you're going to get a mouthful of e-juice, which I don't think would be nice. I think we're full now. Top goes on, screws down, as we can see, liquid in, top on. Okay, so now we just screw the unit on top, and I believe we're ready to go. And there we are. So we need to press the button five times. The green button says go. Hold down the button, listen for the fizz, and away we go. 
Look at that. Slowed down for you beautifully there. Lots of vapor from this. And yes, it does taste of cappuccino. And yes, there's definitely nicotine in there because it makes me feel a bit ill, if I'm honest. So, let's talk to a smoker. Once again, we have Jan the smoker. <laughs> um, what have you got this time, Jan? I think it was a different unit. This time I have the eye taste. Ah. The MVP. That's the chappy, yes. Uh, have you used it as a battery pack at all? or? Um, not really, no. um, but I've got to say the battery has lasted a very long time so far. Okay, okay. And uh, do you find the idea appealing that you could use it to charge your phone if needed? Absolutely. Yeah, no kiddo. Uh, okay, Jan, let's fire her up uh, and uh, let me know okay. what you think of the flavour. There we go. Okay, it's on. Okay, let's give it a go. Listen for, listen for the fizz. Wow. I disappeared in the fog there, Jan. So, you've recently been looking at the Tesla. In comparison, flavour-wise, quality, what's your thoughts? Um, it heats up well. It's, it's hotter than the Tesla. Um, flavour's a bit... Can I say, a little bit dirtier, the flavour, I'd okay. say. Okay. It, the smoke's more, the smoke's dense, but it's not. It doesn't feel. It, it feels like there's more water vapor in okay. the Tesla, and this is more kind of smoke vapor, as it were. Okay. I don't know if that's a technically scientific way of saying it. I think so, maybe some people would like that. People who have recently stopped smoking, who maybe would want that feeling, you would suspect. Yeah, it, it feels more as a, as a cigarette smoker. This is this taste feels more close to a cigarette huh. than the vapor than the Tesla. That feels more like using another kind of vaporizer. Okay, so in uh, let's capture this up. We would suggest that it's got a great battery life. You can charge yeah. your phone. Yeah. Flavor not on a par with the Tesla though. Mm -hmm. It Excellent. might have something to do with the tank. <laughs> yes, yes. What we may do, why don't we take a break? Let's pop the Kanga tank on there and see how that feels. Okay, so we're actually using the shoulder section, the little chrome piece that came with the Kanga tank, just to adapt it, it doesn't necessarily need it, it just looks a little bit tidy. Would you agree, Jan? I would say so. Okay. so that shoulder piece goes on first, it. yeah, and then let's pop on the tank, Jan. And that just screws on and completes the... Look at that. Beautiful. It's rather fancy, doesn't it? It really does. Nice. Very nice. Piece Chamfered. Very nice. Okay, all, Jan, like, word let's uh, fire it up. So uh, Jan said something very interesting earlier on. He compared the uh, the tank that comes with the unit normally, the little plastic tank. It's almost like when you get an iPhone and you get the cheap headphones just to make sure it's all working. You get free headphones. Really, you need to get your own. Yeah. What's going on here, Jan? Are we not working? Again. Okay. I didn't test the ah. Wow. Ooh. Now it really shouldn't be much different to the Tesla, but any differences? No, it's actually more flavorful. Huh. Maybe because there's more wattage, maybe it's a higher temperature, we don't know. Maybe, or maybe just because I took a longer, bigger drag from that than I did originally. So really here, we like the tank. Mm -hmm. I think it's the Kanga tank seems to be the, uh, the daddy, should we say. I think the Kanga tank definitely is superior to this. Yes, so all of you guys out there buying this, maybe you want to provide yourself with a really nice tank. Yeah, the plastic, we don't like the plastic, no. Thank you very much, Jan. <laughs> so there we are. It would appear the quality of the tank is very, very important. Lesson learned, I believe. Okay, let's click the link below and let's chat soon. Bye-bye now.